Foil stickers, once considered a tragedy born out of fortune, they've now been updated and overhauled for CS2, and as a result, some people have their eyes on them. But I don't think nearly enough people are actually looking into foil stickers as a potential investment, so I wanted to make this video spotlighting some of the coolest foil stickers, some of them a little bit more less known, that I think will be solid investments going forward into CS2. I've put together a list of different foil stickers, ranging from a myriad of price points as well, so no matter how much you have to invest, you should be able to find something from this video. Be sure to check out my Discord server and my Twitter if you want to follow me more closely and get some extended tips on investing. We have a great community in my Discord growing every single day, so come check it out. We'll get right into the video after a quick word from our sponsor, Skins Monkey. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a website that you can take all of the skins that you don't want anymore and upgrade them into something pretty cool. Even if the item that you trade for is on a trade hold, it'll be added to your Skins Monkey backpack until it's ready to be withdrawn. When you use code NALO, there's actually two bonuses that you get on the site. The first one is an up to $5 bonus when trading skins, and the second one is an added 5% bonus when you're topping up your balance. And this is on top of the 30% bonus they already give you. And even if you don't have any skins to trade, Skins Monkey actually has daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways that you can enter completely for free with a variety of ways to gain more entries. So check out this great site, Skins Monkey, by using my link in the description below for these extra bonuses. Alright, let's get started. So while I am a fan of Onapixel, the first sticker that I'm going to be talking about is actually not because of Onapixel. It's just a really genuinely great looking foil, probably one of the best foils they've ever released. And that's going to be the Luminosity MLG 2016 foil. This thing just straight up, it looks really, really good. It's somewhat unique to find foil stickers that have this really cool blue color on them. So this does bring a little bit of uniqueness to the pool. But the nice thing about it is the logo is really big. There's not some super obnoxious border going around the entire sticker, just a small one on the right hand side. And the squares from the MLG Columbus border actually help out here a little bit because they kind of add this sort of shadowed boxed effect with the new CS2 lighting. Generally though, the big reason that I would say to look at this one is just because it looks so incredible. Obviously stickers that have a large draw because of their looks are going to be stickers that are crafted onto a lot of weapons. Which means once CS2 gets into the hands of everybody, I could definitely see a lot more luminosity foil crafts. Now with the initial CS2 hype, this sticker actually doubled in price or so, which is good, but I still think it has room to grow. At the moment, you can pick one up for 47 USD on buff, or 59 USD on steam if you maybe have some balance from getting lucky in the new Anubis package opening. The MLG capsule that this comes from has been rising for a while now, and is only getting more difficult to obtain and open as the days go on, and obviously with the increased rarity of foil stickers from the capsules. I think this is going to be a fairly difficult sticker to get your hands on as time goes on. But without further ado, let's move on to the next sticker. Shooting all the way up into 2021, we have one of the best foil stickers released in probably the last five majors, which is the Stockholm Entropic Foil. This thing possesses an extremely unique color. There are other green foil stickers, but nothing that looks quite like this. It's more of a bright green that you don't really see anywhere else in CSGO, so it's definitely got that unique factor. It's also already extremely demanded. It actually already has one of the highest prices out of pretty much any of the stickers that are in the pink rarity from Antwerp or Stockholm. It looks really good on crafts, it has a very basic simple borderless logo, and there's quite a few green skins in CS, and likely more with CS2's release. So I think this definitely has some growth potential. So keep an eye on Entropic. Number three spot's gonna go to a very unique one, probably one that no one's even looking at right now. And that's going to be the Team Solo Mid Cologne 2015 foil. Yeah, you've probably never heard of this sticker before but you might start hearing about it in CS2. So the very interesting thing about this sticker is that it actually has pretty much the exact perfect gold tint for the current design of CS2 foil stickers. Now obviously over time that may change, but at the moment this exact color on this sticker just fits perfectly with CS2's lighting update. You can see it on crafts as well, this thing just shines. It looks very, very good, rivaling some of the best yellow foils out there. And the nice thing about it, it's not too expensive sitting at $14 on Steam or $12.9 on Buff. And side note, there are plenty of gold or yellow stickers in the game that are foil, so you don't necessarily have to go with this one, but out of every foil sticker that I've seen, I think this one fits the CS2 lighting update the best. Now the next sticker, or rather stickers, that I want to talk about are flip side. Similar idea to the yellowish stickers, green stickers fit the CS2 lighting update really, really well, because the CS2 lighting update kind of applies this green tint, so a lot of those already really bright green foils are going to pop a lot more. So this spot is dedicated to pretty much 
much every flip side foil release ever. There have been quite a few, and I think all of them are good in their own rights. However, if I were to pick one, I would probably say MLG 2016 Columbus is going to be your best bet. Calling back to that luminosity foil, we have those like square designs that come from the MLG border, and those look like kind of cool shadowed boxes with the CS2 lighting update. So if I were to pick a flip side foil iteration, I'd probably go with that one, but there are a few different cool ones. Flip side foils are already a pretty popular craft sticker, and I think that's only going to increase with the release of CS2. Flip side foils currently range from around $22 to $134 on buff, and obviously slightly higher than that on Steam. MLG Columbus sits at a respectable $32, sort of in the middle of the pack for flipside stickers. I think that's a respectable price. But there's plenty of options to choose from, so go ahead and take a look at the flipside foil stickers and see which one you think is best. And for the number one spot, we're going to go ahead and look at the flammable foil and also the headhunter foil from the community sticker capsule. So this capsule is a bit weird. It has a lot of just really bad outcomes when you're opening it, but it does also have the swag foil, the flammable foil, the headhunter foil, which are all pretty good. Now, while I do think silver stickers are pretty good as well, I would probably focus more on the flammable foil and also the headhunter foil. Those just have exactly the color scheme and design to be successful foils in CS2. Now the flammable foil has seen a price spike recently and so has the community sticker capsule. But this sticker capsule has a very interesting price movement over time. It kind of spikes up and then corrects back to its normal price. And it is discontinued, you can't get it anymore through normal means. And I think if the flammable foil just really gets the hype that it deserves, the capsule can kind of break out of this back and forth price movement and just kind of start to perform really well. And I think we're kind of getting pretty close to the year where that's going to happen. So just a recommendation, check out those two foils from the community sticker capsule. And before we get to the outro for this video, I wanted to go ahead and give a couple of honorable mentions, foils that are really really cheap for you investors that don't have the budget to spend on some of the more expensive ones because foils are pretty expensive stickers to begin with and for you guys the two stickers that i would look at would be the tailu rmr foil and also the crazy berlin foil these are both foils that have seen some hype in the past but haven't exactly taken off in price movement they're both very cheap sitting at $3.42 and $7 respectively on the Steam market, and up on screen will be their buff price. But both of these stickers are very solid foils. They look really, really nice in the right lighting. The Tyloo sticker has this weird thing with its eye that is really noticeable when you have it on a craft, so it's a pretty cool item. And the Crazy Foil, despite the Berlin logo being so large, has a very large team logo that kind of overcomes the entire Berlin background. So for you investors that don't have as much to put into foils, these are some solid options, I believe. But that's about going to close off off all of my recommendations. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I wanted to focus on foils for a video because I really think those are going to be a big growth area when CS2 is released. So get in now while it's still early. And hopefully my recommendations are able to serve you well. If you want more tips, be sure to join my Discord server in the description below. And you can check out my Twitter account where I post a lot of really dumb tweets. Go ahead and like the video to show your support. It costs you absolutely nothing. It takes no time at all. And it helps me out massively. And for the best CS2 investment tips anywhere else on YouTube, be sure to click that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out Skins Monkey. Thanks guys, see you next time. Peace.